A word that occurs often in logic is the word converse, and it might sound a little bit confusing, but it's really straightforward. If you think about the converse of an if-then statement, it's really just asking what is the reverse. So think about the if-then statement, if P, then Q. The truth table for if P, then Q is true no matter what, as long as you're not in this one case where P is true and Q is false. If P is true and Q is false, then if P, then Q is not a true statement. So when you're looking for the converse and you have a statement that says if P, then Q, the converse is exactly the opposite. It's if Q, then P. So if we write down if Q, then P, we may want to understand how this looks like in terms of its truth table. So remember that there are four options for P and Q being true and false. And if you think about it, this is just another if then statement. So let's look, let's take a look. Anytime that you have Q true and P true, here Q is true and P is true, so the statement is true. Anytime that you have Q false and P anything, then it'll still be true. So if Q is false and P is anything, it'll still be true. So you get a true here and a true here. Now the only time that if Q then P is false is if you have Q true and P false. That's the only time you'll have a false here. So if P then Q is a very different statement than if Q then P. For example, if you think about divisibility by four, you might say, well, if you're divisible, if some number is divisible by four, then, and I'll just write this arrow to mean if this, then, the number is going to be divisible by two. If it's divisible by four, then divisible by two. What's the converse? The converse is exactly the other way around. So if divisible by two, then divisible by four. Now this is a particularly easy example where we can see that in fact, every single time that this is true, this will also be true. So this whole statement is true. However, every single time that a number is divisible by two, is it true that the number is divisible by four? No, because I can find many examples, but all you need is one. A particular example is something like n equal to six. The number n is divisible by two, but it's not divisible by four, so this is not a true statement. Here's an example where we have one if-then statement, and we have its converse, and its converse is not true. So just keep in mind, converses are pretty easy, it's just the reverse.